All right, so I'm now recording this bald eagle chick in the nest. Yep, he's still there, and oh, whoops. All right, um, so I have to like get this thing stable first. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Oh, and almost got it. All right, and just about got it. All right, there we go, okay. So you can see it right there, yep. Yep, there he is. Gorgeous looking bald eagle right there. Oh yeah, let's zoom this thing in. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. So, um, I was working until 6 p.m. today. Now, normally I get off at 5.30, but since we're getting close to prime day, I had to work a half an hour later. And I'll be doing this all the way until July 3rd. Then it's back to my normal shift. So that half an hour is considered mandatory extra time. That means every employee has to work that extra half hour. That's great for me because that's extra pay. Because I'm, you know, I, I am full time, so I do work 40 hours a week at Amazon. But now that I got the overtime, that's putting me at 42 hours per week. Uh, let me zoom that out a little bit. He is pretty gorgeous, isn't he? Oh yeah, I wanted to go all out on this bald eagle right here. This is such a beautiful bald eagle. Oh, he is so gorgeous. Mm. I'll tell you one thing, from filming these bald eagles, I've got a lot of hives on me because of all the mosquitoes that have bitten me because I didn't wear any bug spray. Today I did. I've got bug spray on my pants, I've got bug spray on my shirt. Anywhere there would be bugs on me, there they shouldn't be on me anymore. <laughs> so I don't plan on staying here all the way till sunset because I've been losing a lot of sleep lately and by the time I get home, when it gets dark, it's already like past nine o'clock, and I need I need some time to eat dinner and do all my YouTube stuff. So I'm just gonna record for like 15 minutes to a half hour, and that's it. If I don't see this bald eagle doing anything spectacular, I'll end it sooner. So I'm actually at a different spot this time. This is actually the best spot that I have seen to date of this bald eagle. Yeah. Yeah, he's still in his nest right here, but I'm filming at a different angle, okay? I just want to show you exactly where I am, okay? All right, so this is without the digital zoom, okay? So now I'm zooming out optically. So you can see where I am. All right. So that's zoomed out all the way. And now I'll zoom back in again. Where you will see this beautiful bald eagle. Yeah, look at that, huh? You can't go wrong with that, huh? Oh yeah. Now if I twist this up, I should be able to see the bald eagle's head a little bit more. It's just a little bit tricky on that one. There we go. Yeah, I wanted to get the best close-up as possible. Because that's just how I am. I love taking good close-ups of raptors. 
and this bald eagle is no exception. Yeah, he's just enjoying the scenery and just, you know, looking around. I'll tell you one thing, I got my eyes fixed on this bald eagle. Yeah, I can actually look at him even without the camera. Like, I can just see him standing there, right there. This is actually the best spot that I have ever been able to see this bald eagle at. I'm just so happy that I can I can get this kind of footage. Even though there are some sticks blocking the view, it's not quite as bad as before. There would probably be one other spot that would be better, but um, there's too, mi too much foliage. I don't think my camera would be able to um, get through all that. The focus would be really bad at that part. You are so beautiful. You really are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I totally love you. Yes, I do. You're not like I would start a relationship with you, but... <laughs> oh, so it looks like you're pretty hot. You're feeling really warm today. Is it because my looks intensify when you look at me? No, 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 that's not why. It could be just because it's really hot outside. Yeah, that's right. Birds actually open their beak when it's hot. They don't sweat like we do. They have a different method of keeping the heat from, you know, dehydrating them and making them feel, well, more hot than they already are. <laughs> I mean, they are warm-blooded, just like we are, but the, their method of maintaining their body temperature is a little bit different than ours. So basically, by holding their beak open, it helps get air into them and keeps them cool. There's some sort of a trick that is done. I don't really know much about it though. But it is nice to see this bald eagle is doing that. Just flashed, almost flashed your wings at me. Very cool. So I'll try to zoom up a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if the focus is all that great. Um, there is actually a setting to change the exposure, although if I, it's gonna jerk my camera a whole lot. Um, let's see here. Mm, I don't think it works when I'm recording. Yeah, I'll have to wait until the next recording. But there is an option to actually change the exposure on here. It's 
can't seem to, to do that. I mean, the, 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 the lighting is just a little bit different right here because I'm at a more shady spot. So that's, that's the only drawback. But it is better than the, the spot that I was at before, most definitely. I can see the bald eagle better right here. And it seems like it's a little bit brighter. Um, probably because the sun is starting to come out. Yeah, that, that has a lot to do with it too, where the sun is. But still can't seem to adjust, adjust the intensity. So like I said, I'll have to wait till the next recording to do that. Yeah, I think I might stop it with just one recording today. Because, you know, I don't really feel like editing the footage. You know, because if I put more than one clip, I'll have to edit to combine them. So with only three minutes left, I think, I think I'm just going to stop it once, once it hits the, you know, once my timer runs out. Because my, my, my files only record for 15 minutes. That's just the, the size limit that this camera does. I don't have any control over that. Um, if, if, if it was able to do larger files, then, you know, I'd, I'd certainly take advantage of that. And then I wouldn't have to edit these, these videos. Now, when I do the editing, I usually just edit the parts where I had trouble focusing on the eagle, or if I was jerking the camera up too high because what's weird is and today I did pretty good I focused in pretty good at a pretty quick amount of time of this bald eagle right here I uh, I seem to have almost mastered this tripod but the toughest the toughest thing is you you always want to make sure that you don't try to focus on anything else because if you do, then you're going to end up having to reposition the camera all over again. And that can be quite difficult. The only thing that's holding the camera up is a ball. So I have to maneuver this ball and I have to tighten it to the exact spot. So that's why using this tripod is very com complex. Now there is these little mark markings, these number markings. That's if you're turning the camera from the left to the right. Okay, those are all degree markers, but it doesn't have a setting to go up or down. You have to actually undo the whole thing, and you have to make sure that when when you're tilting up and down that you don't jerk it too far to the left or to the right, or else the whole screen will tilt. Yes, that can actually happen. Um, I don't know what purpose of, of that is. I'd rather just have a camera that just goes up or down or left or right not all this other complicated nonsense but what are you gonna do I mean it's only a $50 tripod I mean, it, it actually converts into a monopod as well I just haven't like used that part the monopod part and besides that it's actually very hard to use the monopod because it actually doesn't quite go all the way up to like five feet or anything like that. So it would have to be crouching down to use the monopod portion. But yeah, 41 seconds, that's all the time we have of this recording. So I'm just going to say my goodbyes right here. That way I can go home, get some good sleep, and go to work the next morning at 7 a.m and then work all the way until 6 p.m. And then I'll be doing that until Saturday. And then I've got three days off, unless, of course, they got overtime available. And if so, then I'll definitely be taking it. But until then, I'll 
see you next time. Alright.